him. He's got his own show now. It's yeah, going great. Okay. He's had great guests on. He's been able to do something more aligned with his purpose in life, which is which is what we were just talking about. They are just talking about George Jenko leaving Impulsive, too. Yep. Whereas, you know, I'm not doing everything that I can be for the for the addiction community that I that I really owe that to and I need to do a better job of. And he's doing mm. a great job now of, of, of telling, you know, the, the story of Christianity and family and yeah because that was a running joke that he was too christian to be a part of the show nah that's not it just that's just not the you case. just kept bringing it up at random amount of times for no reason <laughs> <It's kinda laughs> <awkward>. <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> the entrance already yo adam why <laughs> he, came in. he came in with his <laughs> mouth full <laughs> he came in eating uh like a twinkie or something yeah some some he just put it over on time with the supreme hoodie speaking of ringing up god at random times yeah. like you <laughs> pop in the interview at a random time two three minutes and 18 seconds adam pops in talking about uh <laughs> into a clip too so this is probably like 45 minutes into a random podcast <laughs> oh my gosh yeah I, i'm I, I i wish i could pull back i don't care to go and look up the the overall context of this, <laughs> but everything about this was is very Adam esque. Yeah, I, I think I think Adam does this knowing that like we're gonna react to it. I yeah. think I, I don't know if he's that calculated, but the I, man, I, li I think he's he just, he lives to go viral. I think he's just rolling. You think he's just rolling? All you right. believe in a f made up guy in the sky and nobody whoa, else does? Whoa, whoa. All right, made up guy whoa. in the sky. They're just bringing whoa, it up whoa, all the time. Whoa. From you me as an atheist, that's my perspective. Do this it's right too now. much. You're well, over whooping. Well, You're over whooping, Jordan. Nah, but I'm saying. You ain't going to do all that with JC, bro. There's some debate on if George would bring up God at random times. I think it's a fair question. I think it's a fair question. I think if you are having these encounters with Jesus and you're on a podcast like Impulsive, yeah. when is it appropriate, not appropriate to bring up God? Right? Mm -hmm. Like like if we're just talking just straight content. So I'm not going to sit here and act like there isn't that, that, that some of that critique wasn't warrants it now i didn't see every time he brought him up. i don't know but 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 as someone as a christian i would look and be like yo anytime jesus is brought up i'm in yeah i don't care for the flow of the podcast <laughs> your audience needs to hear about jesus logan needs to hear about jesus so so that's the give and and, and, the, and the take in that conversation right uh you, you, you when god's doing something in your life you're gonna naturally want to talk about it i don't i i don't know if adam understands that mm -hmm. right like I don't, I don't know if adam understands that and shout out to second place prize and the podcast is called impulsive or impulsive impulsive which I, I, i'm gonna impulsively bring up jesus how about that there you go you know what i mean shout out, shout out, uh, no 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 Juice, no you ain't gonna turn him mexican <laughs> <laughs> that's funny <laughs> shout out to yeah. hold on, hold on, hold on. we gotta give mike his flowers shout out to mike for taking a stand there you go. against adam 22 trying to work uh like or like like destroy and shred christianity or specifically you know george bringing up christianity and bringing up jesus i'm i'm impressed nice. i think mike taking a stand is good i think mike is sober in that he said he doesn't do everything he could do for this for the addiction community so this is the thing when you get to whatever degree of success or clout they have at some point you probably have to take a self inventory and go man i feel like god's called me to something else in this assignment that i have mm -hmm. And for him, it's probably speaking more to the addiction community. For George, it's talking more about Jesus. And if you feel like you're not doing that, then that's a that's a good self inventory to have, and at least be sober about it. And I think at some point, there's probably a lot of people that feel like that because if all you do is just escapism, entertainment, and escapism, when you feel like God gave you this 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 thing, and specifically what Mike he's talking about, no, what am I gonna no, do? I mean, you 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 obviously you can say whatever you want, yeah, but yeah. but but like but like you know, I'm a, I am a Christian, and I do oh, okay, I do bad, I, no, and I do devote a lot of my. I'm an imperfect Christian, by the way, because mm. I know even me saying that someone from the Red like, Pill yeah, community yeah. is gonna get mad about it. But um, but but I do believe in Christ. I, I grew up going to Sunday school every week, going to church every week, going to Bible camp, and I'm just not as vocal about it. And I don't mean that in a negative way towards anybody who is. I just it's just not as big of a I don't know. It's just not. But that's why there's content. Christian rock and why there's Christian rap is because the majority of people who listen to rock music, if there's a whole song about God. They're not going to listen to it because to people who aren't religious, this sounds like a bunch of woo woo and we just don't want to hear it. So that's why. Or I think that or, or that. OK, so the reason why these genres exist to Adam is because the average person is going to hear it and think there's a bunch of woo woo. OK, now I think the part that he's missing is how many Christian rock songs have crossed over into bona fide hits over the years. You got P.O.D., you got Skillet, you got who? Remember the song, I Could Only Imagine? Yeah. Remember that song, I Could yeah. Only Imagine, right? I remember 2003, 2004, like that song was 
everywhere. So I don't think that genres exist to create silos. I think they exist for marketing purposes. You two had multiple, like, fairly overtly Christian records that were massive on the charts, right? And and I don't know. I think I think I think I think he misses the difference between. I think he misses how many people are theist. That's mm. what, that's what I'll say. Like I think there's way more people that are theists that would rock a U2 song or Kirk Franklin song or even Drake's God's Plan or fill in a blank that don't, don't aren't really tripping on if there's a reference to God in it or if it's a song overly about God. He also says that it's because people that are casual listeners that aren't Christian will think it's too woo woo. When I actually think it might be the opposite. It might be the Christians don't want to hear stuff that is like overtly sacrilegious and and you know sinful so it's like it's also a, it's also a lane where people know they can get filtered and clean music you know whereas like you'll get joe rogan who's like oh i i, I found this old christian song from the 70s right, 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 right. uh have you thought about coming to jesus or something like that right right, right. right. and he's like it's a great song and i think actually there would be a lot of people that would be like well this is a great song yeah but i think the the lane is actually created more for people to know that there's filtered music than yes. there is music, you know, versus yes. that's not filtered. Yes, but but to be fair, there is a passage in First John two sixteen through seven, right? It says, "For everything in the world, the lust of the eyes, the lust of the flesh, the pride of life, comes not from the Father, but from the world. The world and its desires pass away, but whoever does the will of God lives forever." So there are people who are not into anything overtly or or even covertly Christian. True. Because of the state of the world. They are and repulsed by it. They are repulsed by it. Th those people do exist, okay? Um, and it's because of this. It's because of what's going to work in the world. Think about the stuff that's m that, that often is the most popular. It's going to revolve around the lust, of the, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life, right? Something that's gratifying you, sex, drugs, and rock and roll, right? Or the need to be right. And so if you are... If you're in the world, yeah, why would you want something that points you to a higher virtue, right? Uh, it, it, unless this person already has an established, you know, credibility that you then give them a shot. And then, and then those do happen, right? I think the way that he's explaining it is semi-representative of what the issue was, was just like, I think there, there was just a little bit of misalignment between the message that we were trying to tell. Like, it was a very... We, Logan which, which, Paul is satanic, you know? He's just, he is of the <laughs> Illuminati. Like, this is just not his world. <laughs> He went into the Logan, I've got very nice things about you on the rest of the podcast. So when this is Clifford TikTok, don't blame me. No, he'll agree with it. Do you feel like you you lost some of your uh, your traction with Adam Twenty Two? You guys were building a relationship. You were sharing no. Jesus with him, and now he's dunking on Christianity. Not at all. Magic Sky Daddy. No, no, no. I just I just texted him before this. Oh, see nice. how he was doing. So not at all. I think Adam. I think Adam is going to do what Adam does, and yeah. I think Adam is going to hit rock. Have to hit rock bottom before he changes his mind on anything. So I think I think that is what it is. And, you know, I don't I don't think he like I don't I don't I don't know if he's the accurate gauge on like culture culture curation right now. I don't <laughs> what think do you it, mean by that. Well, I think in, in light of all the stuff that's happened within the last year. Yeah. Right. I don't think anyone's checking for Adam as like a cultural curator the way they were, you know, at at when yeah, he was yeah. breaking uh, all these SoundCloud rappers mm -hmm. years ago. I don't think that's what people are going to him for right now. Personally, because he got in a little bit of trouble. Because he got in quite a bit of trouble this year. Yeah. There's been quite a bit of controversies uh, with regards to stuff, and so I think, yeah, th I think I think there is, there's there's that working against him, and I think that he's clearly hostile to the gospel, right? Yeah. But I think you keep praying for folks like that, right? Because because uh, oftentimes the folks that are most hostile, when they finally have that rock bottom moment, are the most likely. It can be the most likely to come to Jesus, and so I think like leaning into the hard conversations with him, I think is is the is the pathway forward, you know. Yep. And the and these little like little shots of Christianity, I'm not like offended by them. Like I'm like, <laughs> yeah. bro, you've Adam has done substantially more offensive things within the last year, and said and said more offensive things to me in person. Your lifestyle is is a shot at Christianity, <laughs> <laughs> right? like, like like than 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 the words he said about yeah. George Janko and and Christianity. I, I I don't find any offense to to, to any of that stuff, you know. I do think that this narrative of of Logan and them being the Illuminati is hilarious, and I think that uh, yeah, I just, yeah, I just think, I just think that's funny. We see, according to the Bible, that prayer is extremely important in terms of us being transformed from the inside out when we get aligned with God's will. For the Christians watching this channel, 
I want you guys to implement these spiritual disciplines in your day-to-day -day life. And the only way I've been able to do this consistently is through writing down my prayers in a prayer journal that does a few things. One, it allows me to reflect and come to God humbly and ask him to move on my behalf. And two, it allows me to document my prayers, which ultimately helped me remember the very things that I was praying for and see the hand of God tangibly in my life when he answers them. So I would urge you, consider writing down your prayers. It could be in a blank notebook. It could even be on your phone. Or you could check out the one I personally designed and used from my own quiet time and spiritual discipline that I think would be a huge blessing. It's the exact structure and system that I've used for years to pray and be more consistent in my spiritual disciplines. You can pick yours up today by clicking the link in the pinned comment below. All right, I'll see you over there. Peace.